Welcome back. Today, we are making one of Steve's recipes. Oh, really? I didn't know Steve cooked. Well, to be honest, he really does like dinty more in a can. Okay. But um, this is one that he makes when he has to be a bachelor. All right. So it's easy, hardly any ingredients to it. So if Steve can do it, almost anybody can do it. Sounds great. Okay. So what is it called? It is called a taco pie. Taco pie, okay. Yep, and it's made with crescent rolls and then uh, just hamburger and some refried beans and cheese and a little bit of lettuce and taco so stuff. So it's pretty much a taco on a crescent roll. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, let's get started. Okay, let's do it. So we went ahead and did a little bit of prep work. I ground, or I browned some ground beef and I just added a package of taco seasoning. Okay. Okay. Easy. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and assemble the pie. And I'm going to add a layer of refried beans to the bottom. And if you don't have refried beans, skip, the, skip this step. But they're so good though. I know. <laughs> so. I don't like the nutritional value. Yeah, well. Sadly, that might be true with most of our meals. And you know what I did forget to mention? Uh, this is just a sheet of crescent rolls that I have for my pie base. Okay. So easy. We're not, we're not, you know, going crazy. We're not really baking. We're not making anything hard. Could you use tortillas instead? Probably. I would worry a little bit that it might uh, overcook. Yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah. But you could probably use a pie shell. And then we're just going to sprinkle the seasoned brown beef over the top. Bimo smells the beef. He's coming over. Yeah. <laughs> My uh, prep for meal prepper uh, tip is you can brown a bunch of ground beef, add your taco seasoning, and then freeze it. And then when you have your weeknight dinners, whether it's this or tacos or trash can nachos, just take out a pound that you've frozen, and then this makes these meals even faster and easier. And then we're going to add cheese on the top. Depending on how much cheese you like, you can add a lot or a little. And then we're going to pop it in the oven at 350 degrees for 10 to 20 minutes. But really it's about until the uh, bread dough becomes brown. Okay. So we'll be back in just a few minutes. Hey, right. so once the pie comes out of the oven, the hardest part is you have to let it cool off for about 10 minutes. Okay. That's hard for me. But then we're just going to top it with some fresh tomatoes. And some lettuce. And a little bit of onion. Isn't that beautiful? It's gorgeous. Lots of onion. Lots of onion? Lots of onion. We know what AJ likes. Mm -hmm. And then do you want to just maybe put a dollop of sour cream right there in the middle? So the nice thing again is this is very customizable. So do what your family likes. And if they like lots of onion, put lots of onion in. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, we're gonna plate it up and give it a taste. Let's give it a taste. You know, it's funny, AJ, as I'm looking at this, in hindsight, we should have added maybe some corn to it too. Oh yeah. Yeah. We did add a little pico for flavoring, but yeah. like corn, I guess anything in the imagination. Yeah, the, yeah. Just like with the nachos last week. Yeah. And you know, anything your family's gonna eat, that's, um, let's add a little veggies to it. Mm. Oh, but when we added the pico, I, oh, you got your fork? I got my fork. Okay, let's give it a try then. I'm getting all crust and meat here. Well, that's your problem. Don't, now I don't be, that. Don't be dainty, folks, just dig in. Yeah, here. this is a meal. Mm. Mm. Good job, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> good recipe. Really good job, Steve. And you're right, extra onion. Oh yeah, onion helps everything. 
So as we're eating and enjoying this. If you like, if you like what you see, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification button, leave a comment, tell us what you think for this, this bachelor dinner, and give it a try. And we'll see you next Thursday. Have an eat, savor, and enjoy. See you next week. Bye.